you're watching between number six, Chow Yan Kit, and between number two, Quan Meng Heng. We're on board now with Wazzy on number 21 as they wait for the start. And away they go, riding with the pole man. This is the view from on board with Matt Patterson. Well, and he's got uh, a lot of trouble going into turn one. Wazzy got a flyer of a start. Wazzy's actually leading this race from the second row. He always starts well, but there he is, number 21, out in front, Suzuki on his tail as well, which is a bit of a su surprise, perhaps. That was uh, Munis Barron, but uh, already the Colin Marshall machine moving up. Juan Meng Heng got off the line very badly indeed. He and Kit both got perhaps uh, less of a start than they would have hoped. Same too with number one, Cheryl Yuzi. First time we've seen that number one plate race all year. He started on row one and it didn't happen for him either this is matt patterson's view of the racetrack as he passes munis baron to go into second place behind was he with kit on his tail kit's uh, got to be thinking championship and got to be thinking i don't want to get involved in any of this isn't he yeah uh, for sure but uh, you know he's got to go out there and feel confident with the, himself and with the bike right now he's he's taking it uh, pretty much easy you know in the opening lap following these guys as we see Wuzzy about ready to enter the last corner on the racetrack. Patterson closing in up, up in on him. Colin Marshall's bikes have been quick all year and the Team Roberts bikes of course have been quick all year so not much in it on speed but Patterson takes a line on the inside. Wuzzy shut that door. We also got uh, Yaguchi Nakajima coming up in fourth place as we see Patterson make a move on the outside of Wuzzy and oh. there's Kit making a move on both of them drafting by both of them good pass from Kit huh yes fantastic move do you think uh, Robbie Peterson if he'd been watching that from the pit wall would have approved of that given that the championship is a mistake well it was pretty much an easy pass when you're drafting somebody it's it's when you make the pass and you're, you, you know you're worried about going on the outside of somebody when you're when you're on the inside of somebody it's pretty much okay and there's we see Quan Meng Heng moving by Wuzzy. Lots of changes of elevation on this racetrack. It's really exciting. It goes up and down an awful lot. You get a much better idea of that when you're riding on board. And it's uh, Matt Patterson, number three, and Chow Yan Kit, number six at the moment, dicing for the lead, which wasn't really part of the brief, but Meng Heng is right behind Kit. Meng Heng has to win this race in order to stand a chance of the title. And he also, oh, and that was Yuzi running very deep into the chicane. He's on the grass, he recovered it, but uh, a little bit of outbreaking himself. Yes, he did, but he, he made a good recovery there, keeping it intact. But you see Quan Meng Hang, he's, he's, uh, he's been unbelievable every race of this season. You know, every lap that he puts in in practice, he always looks uh, like he's doing it at 110%. Where we see Kit a little bit more, uh, I want to say fragile, but uh, more consistent, more easy on the bike. But although I say that, he's been very, very aggressive uh, since the tie race. Well, yes, Meng Hang now trying to pass out of the draft because he must take the lead of this race at some point. He must get ahead of Kit. He must win this race. He needs 25 points, and he's got to hope that Kit will score less than 13, since those are the options. But it's Patterson, Meng Hang, and Kit. And uh, Nakajima, Nakajima yeah, yeah, he's coming up there soon with the other Colin Marshall bike. He's another one who is, is very quick, and he's a very aggressive racer too. Here's Wazzy's view of the track. You see them cresting this hill, heading down into the fast right-hander, and Juan Meng hangs open to a little bit of gap over Patterson. We we'll start to climb back up a hill to the left-right chicane. Down the hill comes Kwame Meng Hang safely in the lead now. Matt Patterson, Nakajima has got past Kit. Yeah, Kit's in a great place right now because he can watch the race in front of him. He knows he only has to finish sixth if Kwame Meng Hang wins the race. Oh. And right now there's nobody pressing him for the uh, fourth-place position. I think everybody seems to think uh, now is a good time to take a breather and reassess the situation, except perhaps Nakajima, who's always been on a mission in this championship since he got onto that Colin Marshall machine. 
uh, bound to attract the attention of the other teams. There must be a queue of people walking about the paddock with contracts this time of year thinking I'd like him. For sure. And also, uh, Matthew Patterson, as we know, you know, in, in uh, uh, the last race, came very, very close to winning it. And I'm sure he wants to end on a great note in this race, you know, be pushing it very, very hard. And he's just got passed by his teammate, Nakajima. So uh, they're on the charge to catch back up to Kwon Meng Hang. Times like this, I'm sure the team managers on the pit wall wish they had radio communication with the bikes like they do in car racing so they could stop all that and behave yourselves and let's both get to the finish line. But I don't suppose very many people would take that notice of them anyway. No, no especially on this, this type of racing, I think it's... Uh, it's very scratch, scratch type of racing. They really scratch for every bit of ground that they can get. And uh, with the bikes being so close in this, this series, throughout the, all the series of classes, it makes it fantastic for fantastic races, and especially this one we're having today. Oh, Nakajima almost out of the seat there, coming out onto the front straight. Meng Hang's still there. And it's all about these four. Yuzi in the background, the champion who dominated this series last year, absolutely dominated it to the point at which he had a mechanical failure here last year, didn't finish the race, and he still won the title easily. Uh, and what was that? He just pulled a tear off off. And, and just as he did that, uh, Nakajima's just pulled out of his draft. Let's see if he can make the pass stick. He sure does. Kwon Meng Hang looked like he just backed off a little bit and let him come through underneath him. Nakajima out in front now. He was leading, remember, in Subic Bay when the battery lead came off, is what it was. The battery lead came off. The engine lost its power and stopped. And that would have put him in the frame. He would have come to this race with a chance of the championship. And now, of course, he doesn't have a hope. So all he can do is, as you say, end the year on a high note and perhaps with a chequered flag. You can see them all entering about the same line, but it's uh, very easy to take separate lines on these bikes because they're so light and easily very nimble to turn. They get right down on the side of the tire as well. Well, Kit doing uh, an excellent job from a team manager's point of view. He's right where he should be. Yes, exactly. Staying out of the heat of the battle, but still staying in connection with it to keep his concentration up. Doing what he has to do. On board with Patterson as he goes past Meng Heng, or does he? Going to try and outbreak him into that turn, and he's done it. Well, as you said, Matt Patterson on a mission. Nakajima in his sights, and I'm sure he won't let Nakajima get away. Meng Heng staying with Patterson, or is he? He's coming past him. Kit still sat there watching this grandstand view. That's where the onboard camera should be, isn't it? That, <laughs> that is a view of the racing. It's always like that. You know, <laughs> the one you choose it always ends up being a, a little bit different or a distance away from the action. But the action we can see right now in our cameras between these four guys. And you can see the Colin Marshall bikes first and second right now trying to make a break. They pulled a little bit away from Kit that lap. But Kit can afford to drop back if he wants to because he's got about a five or six second lead. I'm just uh, going to say, Kit looks over his shoulder and sees nothing but tarmac behind him. He's not really under threat at all, is he? No, just into that chicane, you can see that he wasn't really pushing the bike left to right. But I tell you what, that Nakajima rider really is. You can see the bike twitching as he was throwing it into that corner. Well, they're closing up on the tail end of the field, and they are still four abreast almost as they pick off the back markers. Nakajima, Patterson, Manghang, and Kit. Here comes Patterson now, draft his teammate. <laughs> Nakajima doesn't want to play that guy when it no. is moving about underneath him, isn't it? Yes, it is. Very uh, typical of these Japanese riders. So many of them, you see that the slightest thing, they come straight back. They don't sit and think about it, do they? Their reaction, their response to, to an attack, to a little moment, a wobble or whatever, is immediate and instant. They come straight back on the attack. Speaking of wobbles... Is that Patterson? Yes, it was. He had the lead coming out onto the, the uphill straight, and he lost it as he spun the tire coming out of that corner. 
Well, he is pushing it as hard as he knows how, Matt Patterson. That means that Nakajima and Manghang are pushing it hard as well. And it means that although Kit is, as we say, cruising around in fourth place, keeping an eye on this battle, it's obviously much more than that as far as he's concerned. Just a reminder that this will do very nicely for the championship as far as Kit and Team Roberts are concerned. As we saw at the beginning, the, the boss man is here. Kenny Roberts is... Oh, oh, oh. Kenny, very close. Kenny Roberts is here watching from the pit wall. And for Chow Yang, Kit, knowing that someone like Kenny is watching his every move, must make every move that little bit more considered. I think it helps the whole sport. I think it helps the whole series having Kenny here, knowing that he has a team effort in involved in this Asian ser series is, is fantastic. And you see Kwan Meng Hang going underneath Nakajima there to take the lead once again, and Patterson's closed back up on them. I'm starting to enjoy this, perhaps the best race of the year so far for the 250s, because there has been no let up. After, oh, and that's Cheryl Yuzi, he's parked it. So the defending champion not going to end his season on a high note, even though it was only one race long. And the traffic just coming between this trio now because Kit is not racing with them, is he? He's following them around and seeing what they do, but they are at it, hammer and tongs. This is serious stuff up front. Meng Hang wants to win because he's looking for a championship, and both of those boys, Matt Patterson and Yuichi Nakajima, just want to win. Always a race that sticks in everybody's mind, especially sponsors, is the last one. So they always want to put in that last effort. Contract time. Well, there's 110% effort coming from those three up front. And Kit's not far short of 100%, isn't he? Just to stay with them. Right, and you can see Patterson closing up on the brakes right there. Patterson all weekend long has been going very well, especially through this fast left-hand kink. Because he's closing up very, very fast on the race leader. And uh, did Nakajima miss the gear there? Because he's dropped right back, is not he? Yes, he did. We have an iron kit here. Now Kit on his way to the title from fourth place. Oh, and oh. that's one of the Colin Marshall bikes. Can't see the number on uh, that bike. Th there's Meng Hang, still the race leader. There's Nakajima. That was Matthew Patterson's bike we saw on the ground there. As you say, he's been very quick into that corner all through the race, and it looks to me as if he might have gone in too quickly. So that elevates Chow Yang Kit into third place. So he's going to end the year on the podium. And that was a big, big accident, wasn't it? Yes, it is. It tore the back end of that bike off, and hopefully our camera, <laughs> onboard camera there is OK, as we see Kwan Meng Hang come across the start-finish line to win. Well, he's done his job. That's all he could do. He's won the last race of the year. Nakajima was second. Meng Hang looks behind over his shoulder, and he sees Chow Yang Kit there, and he knows what that means, and so does Chow Yang Kit, because that means that this young Malaysian rider has just become champion for 1997. Meng Hang wins the race, Nakajima in second, and third place for Chow Yang Kit makes him champion. Munis Baron, Wazi, and then Okada, fourth, fifth, and sixth. But this is the big news of the day. A last lap drama puts Matt Patterson out of the race and leaves Meng Heng free to win it with Nakajima second and Kit here in third place. And that's the vital part because that rostrum finish means that the championship contest is settled in his favour by just seven points. Meng Heng had to win that race and hoped that Kit would finish outside the top six, but that was never really an option and the delighted Kit now claims the title he's been closing in on for the last three rounds with Meng Hang in second place. A long way third, Yuichi Nakajima's riding this year has been far better than his final point score would seem to show. <laughs> Meng Hang delighted to win, but this was a well-earned title for Kit, clearly a dramatically better rider now than he was at the start of the season, and equally clearly a champion who will be hard to depose next year. Congratulations! Yeah, thank you. I'm very happy. First of all, I would like to thank to my sponsor and my team and all my crew and my mechanic, everybody who are involved because I already won the championship year. I'm very happy this year. You rode the races though, and you won a couple. Yeah, on the first, on the few starting lap, I was facing them, and until the last lap.